Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is gonna be a very like sit down, let's get down to business type of video. I've been talking a lot about branding and starting new ventures lately. So I just feel like now that I'm coming to a close with business school, I'm actually about to graduate guys. And I feel like I've been doing this thing on the internet, just existing on the internet for a while now. So I just wanted to share with you guys my tips. Um, someone DM'd me the other day to ask me, how do you get to work with, you know, like these huge luxury brands like Sephora and Coach, um, et cetera, et cetera. So I just wanted to like, let you guys know how to build a successful brand online or just in general so the first thing that i think is crucial um and this is something that i've had to learn over the years but especially 2017 has really forced me to learn this lesson and it's to learn how to set boundaries and say no so a lot of women especially have really been conditioned into thinking that you know we're people pleasers like you've been conditioned into thinking that you have to please everyone you have to say yes to everyone you want to help everyone and i'm that type like i'm such a people pleaser and i just want to help everyone and I genuinely like genuinely when I say yes to people I do it because I genuinely sometimes I do it because I genuinely want to help them and other times it's because I feel obliged to help them but you have to understand that you are an energetic being and if you are investing your time energy and space into too many things that are not helping you evolve and grow then you can't grow your business like whatever you put energy into will grow so you have to and another thing is that you have to set boundaries so you do not have to take on every single client you, ha you don't have to take on every single person that wants to work with you and you don't have to give everyone a discount so once you have your set price for whatever it is that you do you stick to it and you stand firmly in place with it because if you waver around and you make you just can't build a successful business from letting people step all over you from giving people free shit and also understand that if you give away all of your value for free then you're not actually helping anyone you're not helping the person that you think you're helping out because if you feel undervalued then you're not going to give them your all and that in turn doesn't help you so you have to a learn your value proposition stand firm in it and be confident in it so my second point is how do you learn your value proposition so the only way to learn your value proposition is to do two things you have to one stop comparing yourself to everyone else and two know who you are like you have to really self-awareness um you have to spend time with yourself you have to know like whether you are a health coach whether you want to be a model whether you want to be an influencer you have to know what is it about you that can bring value to someone else like how can i help someone else flourish how can i help humanity flourish what talents and passions and etc do i have that i can mold together into something that can like bring value to someone because ultimately you can't have a business that is not valuable to someone else like that's how you price things um and that's how you differentiate yourself so spend time with yourself um shut out the noise and get to know who you are why you do it and it really should stem from like your intention um, and that's basically, yeah, from there you'll learn your value proposition. Another thing is you need to stop comparing yourself. For me, this is one of my biggest setbacks. So last week I unfollowed more than 6,000 people because 
comparison was really getting me down like I really had career envy for so many people that I was following and when you're looking at other people's lives actually you're looking at other people's highlight reels on social media and you're comparing them to your everyday life and you really think that you are trash and you think that you ain't shit and you're not ever gonna be shit and you're moving too slow and oh my gosh existential crisis and that's the space I was in so I decided you know what I'm just gonna unfollow anyone who does not inspire me to be the highest version of myself I decided that I'm going to follow anyone that causes me to be envious of them Um, and I think I'm actually gonna make an entire video about jealousy and and envy because I just think especially as women that's something that we're very prone to and especially with social media Um, but anyone that causes you envy that causes you jealousy anyone that causes you to feel less than delete them like unfollow block them like it's fine you're not being petty it's called self preservation and another thing is that you can't be authentic and you can't know your value if you're drowning in the noise like you really do and i mean this in like a spiritual sense and i mean this in a superficial social media sense you have to drown out the noise you have to put the blinders on and you just have to be like i'm staying in my lane i'm minding my own business and i'm flourishing because the energy that you spend looking over your shoulder to see someone else is energy taken away from building you up and flourishing so stop comparing yourself and the best way to stop comparing yourself is to delete block and unfollow another thing that will help you understand where your value lies if you want to be an entrepreneur if you want to pursue a business if you want to build yourself into a brand is you have to allow people to fall in love with you and what i mean by that is that you have to be vulnerable like you have to just like bring your most authentic self i was watching an oprah video the other day and she said i cannot believe that just being my true authentic self would have made me this rich and that really had me shook because the minute that you are comparing yourself to someone else or the minute that you're trying to be someone else you'll always be a step behind them because no one can do you better than you can do you so if you're trying to be oprah oprah will always do oprah better than you can so find out what it is about yourself that is unique that is whether it's your story you know like be a human being like we're all human beings we all have our stories whether it's that that one insecurity that you have that you think is holding you back is probably actually the thing that will help you flourish so be vulnerable man the things that you think are flaws are probably the very same the very things that will help you relate more to people which is ultimately what we want the only thing that human beings want that we all have in common is to be validated and in this world of social media and interconnectedness we validate each other by relating to each other so learn to be your most true authentic self which sounds so cliche and just like oh my god be yourself but like for real though you have to be yourself fam and another thing is that you have to invest in yourself so that other people can invest in you so and this goes back to that old saying of you have to spend money to make money but i don't really just mean financially you have to invest in yourself i mean for example if you want to be a photographer you can't be you can't be like okay well i'm just gonna use my iphone as a camera for the rest of my life because that's the cheapest option no like people invest and this all it boils down to karma people invest in you because they see that you've invested yourself. They may not be thinking that they're doing that on a conscious level, but subconsciously, you trust and invest in people that have trusted and invested in themselves. Like if you think about the people that you go to for advice or the brands that you buy from, even like why is Fenty Beauty flourishing and prospering? Because you can see that Rihanna put in the effort and the time to learn about like what is it that people really want to learn about the makeup industry to learn about inclusiveness and she cares and we all see that 
and so we buy from her we invest in her and it's the same with you like you need to learn you know like don't waste your time with useless people who drain you rather take that time and invest in yourself like read a book fam like hydrate yourself invest in your health invest in your wealth in your knowledge and it'll the universe will bring that back to you just understand that anything that you put out into the universe will be brought back to you twice fold twofold so invest in yourself another thing and this is my last and final point about investing yourself is that you have to give what you want to receive if you want more love in your life then you should be giving love if you want more support in your life then you should be giving people support um, if you want more inspiration in life then you should go out and inspire people so whatever it is that you want from your brand or from your life or whatever give it away and it will come back to you and i don't know i practice buddhism so a lot of my beliefs are karmic and they are karma based so whenever i feel like i'm missing something in life i always look back to myself and think okay but am i being the source of that for someone else like if i feel like oh my gosh I could really do with some more support in life like I go back to myself and I think okay but am I a source of support for anyone else you know so like if you want to be an influencer on social media and you want to build up your social following you know like build a community with other people because that's ultimately what it is it's not so much that people just follow like just blindly follow you it's that you build a community with people so you know like go and join other communities go follow other people you know go and like engage with other people and you'll get the same energy brought back onto you and actually no this is my last point whatever business that you're building and whether you want to be and I think I do speak to more of like creative industries because that's what I know but you want to create content that is value this goes back to value you want to create content that is valuable and the reason another reason you want to do that is because you want to create content that is shareable you want people to see your content and to share it and why do people share content for two reasons because they find value in it and because it's been packaged in a way that's easy for them to consume so whether that just be like you know imagery or like short videos you want to create things that resonate with people and you you'll do that by creating things that are valuable creating things that are easily to, easy to consume and creating things that are relatable so i think that's in summary a lot of the top five or six things that I feel like you really have to do if you want to build a successful brand in these online spaces especially because it feels like we are saturated like it feels like oh my god there's so much competition oh my gosh everyone's a beauty blogger if you think about it there are thousands and thousands of fast fashion brands but they're all thriving there are thousands of grocery stores in any city but they are all thriving they're all paying rent they're all prospering it's because there's enough space in the universe for all of us to flourish but you can't flourish if you're not being your true authentic self like you literally just have to be you be of value to other people and to humanity stay in your lane and self-preservation like i feel like that in summary is what will help you in any career facet of your life so yeah um i'll probably do a more in-depth video on either one of the topics but i think especially jealousy and comparison and envy because that's really something that plagues us in these creative realms so let me know if this video was helpful i kind of just it was very like impromptu um because i just had a few minutes of extra time so just thought i'd drop some nuggets and let me know if this made sense um let me know if you have any other questions and i will see you in my next video. Bye!